Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Ken the Messenger, and this is Straight Talk. I'm so excited because tonight I have um, more of a of some someone that um, she told me she's been in school her whole life. And we're just so different because I don't like school, and I had to be in school, and 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 it's just so weird. But I have Miss Jackie, the educator, tonight. How are you? I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. I, I hope I learned something tonight. I'm sure I will because you're Jackie, the educator. All my uh, One of my big brothers, he's super older than me. And when I posted your flyer, he was like, you know, who is that? I said, you know, that's... Jackie and she's you know edu- she I told her everything you did and uh-huh. he was just like you know I think I'm gonna come to the studio tonight okay. and I was like uh no like no don't <laughs> you're not no. you're not gonna come to the studio not today not t- not tonight <laughs> you never been to the studio now you want to come all of a sudden not gonna happen but um, I did tell him to watch because I feel like you're gonna give out a lot of information and you've done a lot like you're doing a lot. You've done a lot, and I believe you have a lot to do. So just tell us a little bit about yourself real quick. Yeah, absolutely. So I go by Jackie, the educator. I am an educator, obviously. I worked Mm -hmm. at a university. Um, I'm also an ordained minister, and so that's kind of how this whole Christian faith is kind of in He don't even like going to church. He don't like going to church. See, he should have been here for real then. I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) Because that's what I do. I feel like a big part of what I do is Mm -hmm. to educate people about Christ and how he literally is already a part Part of your life every day mm-hmm. your interactions i'm learning from you right now you know we right. kind of talk before this mm-hmm. everything we do is learning and so i feel like jackie the educator is pretty much a way to let people know that everything you do is learning whether you go to school or not you are educating yourself every day that's dope that's yeah. dope um we're gonna get back into what you do you have an organization called black christian influencers yeah. you have uh two youth workshops coming up I saw you on uh, Lavelle's event in a couple weeks. So you're doing a lot. So we're going to get into it. But before we do that, Jonathan McReynolds' Make Room Tour is coming back. starts tomorrow in Detroit. So we're going to play Make Room. And then when we get back, we're going to learn more about Miss Jackie the Educator. That is Make Room by my brother Jonathan McReynolds. And tonight I'm going to make some room. Well, I've, I've already started making room for um, information and wisdom and knowledge. So, um, first of all, tell us what Black Christian influences is and where they come from. Yeah, yeah. So, Black, black Christian influencers is literally an organization of individuals like yourself mm-hmm. and myself that are doing really great things in the community and in the world. And we just are, you know, at this point where some people know us, we mm-hmm. have a name, but and maybe it's not as world renowned uh, yet. Mm-hmm. And so these individuals are doing great things. And so they're from all various walks of life, whether they're a doctor, mm-hmm. attorneys, um, some of them are entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. things like that. They just have really unique platforms of their own in their own industry. And we kind of just brought them all together. The one thing that connects us all is our faith. So that's where really been important to me is to make sure that we all know that we're Christians in the same body. Mm-hmm. Have you been like that, like forever, like just bringing people together that's you know, around the same walks of life? Yeah, honestly, now that you say, I think I have. I think I've always done that. Even in my previous position um, as a director of diversity, it was my job literally to bring people together from various walks of life. And I think that's carried over throughout my life. I like to to figure out problems Mm -hmm. and solve them. I don't like to see things and then not be able to fix it. (laughs) So I'm a big fixer and I feel like to me, the biggest thing we can do to fix problems is to actually come to the table and talk to each other. Mm -hmm. We don't talk anymore. Right. Yeah. What do you see this? What do you see BCI going in the next two years? Because Ever since I've been a part, it's just been booming, you know. So where do you see it going in like two years? I honestly cannot tell you, and I think that's pretty cool because um, I really want God to lead this organization. Wherever he wants it to go, we're going to go, whether that's to be online, whether that's to go to conferences, which Mm -hmm. we are doing. We're going to a CREATE conference in April. Mm -hmm. Um, Apostle, um, what's his name? I just forgot his name that quick. (laughs) (laughs) I'll have it before I leave here. But the Apostle, he's having this great CREATE conference for creatives that are coming together, um, and we're going to do some worship and workshops 
workshops together. And so wow. we're doing conferences together. We're going to do some more things where we're intentionally connecting people. Mm -hmm. um, because whether you know it or not, you have... Uh, potential fans in other industries that's probably never heard you mm. but then once they are connected to you they become a part of your fan base as right. well as your brother and sister in Christ and so that's I dope. think it's so many connections that can happen that I've seen collaborations mm -hmm. I know you've collaborated with people already mm -hmm from the group right. we got so many more things coming from that and so i think we haven't even seen the the tip of the iceberg for what's coming where, where is the conference the conference is going to be in atlanta okay. and it's going to be april 4th 5th and 6th um and yeah it's pretty cool it's going to be really awesome they have some big names coming i know like john Hanna from chicago will mm -hmm. be there um some other names uh mark moore who's mm -hmm. over the young leaders conference um it's a lot of people that's going to be there honestly so it's going to be really awesome so hopefully you can come yeah yeah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> anybody else who's hearing it it's going to be one that you're not going to want to miss what so what develop your burden for helping people because that's all you've been basically doing your entire life you know? i know yeah it's kind of interesting it's I, a I've, good thing yeah it is and i think it's really the principles of christ right mm -hmm. we're supposed to help people um and so i think for me i take it literally i take a lot mm -hmm. of things literally mm -hmm. um it's one of my flaws but i believe that christ uses it very well mm -hmm. um because i literally want to show his principles and how they can be used and actually come with good results and so honestly i think that my counseling background is probably what really makes me like to help people mm -hmm. um i actually right now have an organization that i work with called counseling cafe mm -hmm. we're building an actual cafe that will be able to have counseling done over a cup of coffee mm -hmm. and so we're trying to break down the stigmas of mental health in our community it's in Inglewood where it's going to be located and it's going to hopefully do some really great things with that and encourage other people to mimic it I'm not a person who's offended by mm -hmm. mimic I'm actually I feel very um, honored that people would mimic or do yeah, things so similar. Yeah, doing so. something that's worth mimicking. Yeah, yeah, that's wow. awesome for me. Like, yeah. I have no problem with that. And so I love to see people now doing similar things with their platforms and even with hopefully the Counseling Cafe because we need more of it. I think me and Will are going to be there every week. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of every week. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, yeah, like when I come, when we come in, I think they're going to already know. Like, yep, double shot of uh, espresso. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to be here for two. a minute. Table three. <laughs> that's good. That's good, though, because we want that. I feel like for us, you know, it's going to be free, too. And that oh, for we're me. Gonna def we're going to get a <laughs> membership. <laughs> You, literally, people need counseling. People don't even think about how much they need it. Um, and it's something that I do during normal conversations. I just listen. Mm -hmm. And that's all counseling is. It's listening and having someone help you to process your thoughts. Usually yeah. you come to your own conclusions. You literally figure out your own problems. Right. I think counseling has such a bad, um, you know, just thing to it. Because I remember when I was in college, I think I... It was in 2016. I went to Daily, and they offered counseling. So I'm like, uh, sure, you know, like, let me do it. And when I would tell people, you know, I'm going to hit you back, I'm at counseling, or I just left counseling, they're like, oh, are you okay? And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm cool. You know, yeah. it was just something. But it has such a crazy type of feel to it. So Literally I, crazy, right? Yeah, that's what people yeah. think. Like, okay, you're going to counseling? You crazy? What's right, wrong? You right. know, and that's a huge problem that we really need to start to break down because mm -hmm. you go to counseling to not have problems, to not become crazy. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people just think like, oh, wow, you're going to counseling? Man, what's no, wrong? It's like, let me go to counseling. Please, before <laughs> there is a problem, right, before you right. really do have to lock me up, right, you know? Right. And so I have counselor. That I think it's even important for counselors to share that they receive counseling because mm -hmm. a lot of times people feel like, oh, okay, well, I have to come to you for help, but I have to go get help too, right. you know? And so it's it's something that's needed in ministry. We have all of these pastors that have been committing suicide, mm -hmm. and, you know, we have things on the rise as far as mental health concerns within our communities, and people aren't talking about them like they should. Solution-focused mm -hmm. conversations, I'll say that. People are talking about it, but nobody's mm -hmm. coming up with solutions. And so... For me, Counseling Cafe is one of those things where I'm like, hey, here's a solution. Come have a cup of coffee. We have free counselors that we're working with from universities that wow. they they need hours anyway. So as a counselor, mm -hmm. I knew I was like, okay, I have to complete a uh, little about 300 to 400 hours wow. of counseling before I can get my degree mm -hmm. free. 
right? And so uh, at my school, I went to DePaul. We had to do them amongst the other counselors. And it was like literally kind of fake. But I'm like, wow, what would happen if we use those hours that they have to do already Mm -hmm. and put it in a place where it really needs it? Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what I've been working on and hopefully getting some grants coming soon. Um, Our church burned down. So thankfully, (laughs) I said that thankfully, because God was able to have us now rebuild a new facility. Oh, that's Um, Yeah. And so, you know, it's really awesome how God has literally had his hand on everything Mm -hmm. um, since the beginning. So I'm excited about what's to come. I, I literally have no idea. I'm just as <laughs> nervous and in awe as you guys yeah. probably are looking at it. What? When do is a me and Will need our uh, membership pass? <laughs> so when is it going to be again? <laughs> it's going to be probably uh, I don't want to say any dates, but May. Hopefully by May. Um, we are looking to have it completed. Um, we're in the permit process. So anybody got any permit people they know in City Hall or <laughs> please <laughs> tell them push it through. Um, but yeah, we're we're waiting on the permits, and then we're gonna get right started. So, as an educator, what things um, do you learn as being all of the hats that you wear? Yeah, I learned to be flexible. Mm-hmm. Um, probably the most important thing that God has taught me these last few years is to be flexible. I literally think that he has been bending me on purpose just to kind of limber me up Mm -hmm. because I think that we sometimes get stuck in one thing Mm -hmm. and we don't want to move to something else. And if I was doing that, I would just be working on this cafe and BCI never would have existed. And so I feel like, you know, a lot of people were like, Oh, what are you doing? You're jumping from thing to thing. But you know, there is a, a rationale to it. I feel like God is intentional and when he leads you to do something, you have to go and do it regardless mm-hmm. of what people say. And yeah. that's the part where he's trying to say, Hey, you know, you can't do like the world. They are very, you know, focused on task and mm-hmm. doing their checking off their goals because they're run by themselves. Mm-hmm. But when you become a person who's uh, under the leading of the Holy spirit, you begin to understand that it's not your will, it's his. And so you kind of have to follow it. Mm-hmm. You can't lead. I think that a lot of people don't, like you said, um, God told you, you know, God allowed you to be flexible so he can have you in a lot of different things. And I think a lot of people don't understand because when they try to do it, sometimes it isn't God and it doesn't work, you oh, know. Yeah. And a lot of times they think that what you're doing is like, th- is, is like, you know, is their situation. So how important is it to listen to God? I mean, we know, but a lot of times... You know, the Bible says acknowledge him in all that ways. But sometimes, you know, like I I ate this morning and I forgot, you know, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? Like, or like, or or it's like, I don't know which way to take, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or a lot of times I think, you know, as, you know, silly and as that sounds, it's important to acknowledge him. Absolutely. You know, in, in everything that we do. And I think sometimes we don't. And I know for a fact, um, with both of my hands and feet up because I know sometimes I just make decisions based off me you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying and, mm-hmm. and how I feel and and I take tasks that I want to do and I don't accept tasks that I don't want to do and 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 I learned that when you don't acknowledge God and when and it's not even when you don't acknowledge him sometimes I think when your heart is mm-hmm. not you know in yeah. the right place and mm-hmm. won't work absolutely I think that's the biggest thing if your heart's not there you know it's no use in acknowledging him because you're just doing it for the ritual of it you know Mm -hmm. i think that god really wants you to acknowledge it It doesn't have to be like oh god i woke up this morning should i step out of my bed (laughs) right 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 right. (laughs) but it has to be Mm -hmm. like you know led by his spirit because sometimes he'll tell you to stop he'll be like Mm -hmm. nope don't don't keep walking Mm -hmm. you know but we'll be like oh is that god and and you spend so much time trying to rationalize it that you miss the opportunity that he was trying to wait you know and Mm -hmm. give you and so i think that a lot of Times if we were led by the spirit more we would see more doors literally mm-hmm. just fly open in front of us wow. and you know i think we kind of lost the sight of how it is to walk by faith and not by sight mm-hmm. because we are so rational minded yeah. we want things to make sense and i'm talking to myself when you talk mm-hmm. about educating i want things to make sense i'm a very uh, analytical person and mm-hmm. so math what's the equation like is it what's the answer you right. know we want the answer and it's literally a requirement of god not to to 
mm-hmm. have the full picture because right. we know in parts. And so right. when we get that, when we understand that, when we accept it continually, because mm-hmm. I have to renew my mind every day mm-hmm. because every day I literally want to figure out the puzzle and then I have to figure out, oh, yeah, 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 he said not to today. Right. You know, and so I think that's a constant effort. We have to make sure we're, we're stopping ourselves to restart every day. Wow. When we come back, we're going to talk to Miss Jackie, the educator, more um, for, what is this, Women Appreciation Month? It is. You know, you're a woman that we appreciate. I really appreciate that. <laughs> so when we come back, we're going to talk some, some more to Miss Jackie, the educator. All right. We are back with Miss Jackie, the educator. You know, I got to say the because it sounds like. You know, grammatically, yeah, g- g- dramatic. <laughs> Jackie, the educator. Where did that name come from? Yeah, that's interesting. So uh, I did a um, podcast with Art Soul Radio, and I was trying to think of a really cool name to mm-hmm. to start off my my show. And I was like, man, the only thing I could come up with is that okay, I'm, my name is Jackie, and I'm an educator. And then I was like, well, Jackie, the educator, and literally mm-hmm. that was how it was born. Nothing special or. Yeah, I mean, I I think a lot of names just come from simple stuff like that. It does, like, honestly. Because yeah. it's just, it's not complicated. I mean, I know a lot of people come up with like stupid. Names. Anyway, I'm not gonna get to. That. <laughs> so you what are some? <laughs> yeah, I, just some crazy names. You know, when it comes to music, they just have good good names, and then you have crazy names. But um, what are some being a counselor, right? What are some good mental exercises? Mental exercises. Um, so I downloaded some apps. They didn't work. Actually, yeah. one did. It's called Calm. And I will play. You ever heard of Calm? Mm-mm. It's called Calm. And it, it plays like ocean music. And it talks like, Shh, clear your mind. Oh, Shh. does it do the counting back um, from? Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, and it helps me sleep. Because sometimes, I, Jackie, I don't. You might have to prescribe me some because I don't. I can't sleep. I take I like that same problem. Three, right. three melatonin, uh, fifteen things a piece. Yeah, I just can't sleep. <laughs> but um, I use calm. But what are some that you say are good? Yeah, I think some exercises or just some techniques that I use is when you're feeling stressed or you feel like you really want to give a, yourself a mental break. I use comedy a lot. Mm. Um, I literally look for something comical um, on the internet, a comedy show, something that will take me away. Um, laughter is literally good for the soul, and it's the Bible is so literal. I'm sorry, but you know it, oh, it is. It has everything that you need inside of it, and so it's, it's medicine for mm. you when you laugh. There's a, a a peace that comes over you. There's a release, literally things in your mind releases Mm -hmm. um and so that's a part of it you know i think we kind of have to laugh more even when we don't feel like it finding the humor in things Mm -hmm. um looking on the bright side i think another good thing we can do is to probably talk to people Mm -hmm. um we don't look at that as a technique but obviously as a counselor it's good to talk to people it doesn't have to be a counselor though Mm -hmm. it could be your brother your Mm -hmm. Your cousin, your aunt, you know, Mm. talking to grandma. Like, I, you know, talk to my grandma sometimes because she wants people to talk to her. And sometimes you just need to get it out, you know, talk about your day. We are on our phone all day just, you know, texting and typing. And we really look up to see somebody eye to eye. Right. Mm -hmm. So that helps you. Um, But do you when you say talk, do you mean talk to them about what you're going through or you mean just talk in general? I would say talk in general. I think just talking sometimes takes your mind off of things. Don't talk to anybody about your problems because they might make it worse. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know, so make sure it's literally somebody you trust about your problems. But you can talk to anybody. Like for me, I've been finding people online through BCI and just randomly having conversations. Mm. Uh, It's a good exercise for yourself. And it's also very good for networking and making friends. And so a lot of people are like, well, how did you gain so many followers or friends so quick? It's communication. Just talk to people. Just talking. Wow. Yeah. Do they ever think like you're weird just because you're just reaching out randomly? Uh, I haven't had it yet. They might think it. They haven't <laughs> said it. <laughs> They're like, like, hi, how are you? And like, oh, my God, who is she? This is weird, right? Yeah. I mean, I get those randomly, but when I get them, I, I don't even respond because it's like, who are you? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and what do you want? You know what I'm saying? But right. then sometimes they, you, can, you know, because you have so much 
trash and you know the world today is just yeah crazy, you so. never know what their motive is yeah so, so i think that's a big thing for people they want to know your motives mm-hmm. and i kind of like jackie the educator because it disarms people mm. it's like okay she's not trying to sell me nothing right. you know the educator if you think about it in the world they're one of the few people where you kind of expect for them to give Mm. freely knowledge you know and so conversation is one of the things um and so i think when people see like hey i'm jackie the educator blah 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 it's like okay she's not trying to sell me nothing Mm -hmm. you know she's not looking to to get something from me well let's see what this is about and we interact and you know it just becomes a friendship and so Mm -hmm. that's kind of like what's developed from this and so i think uh jackie the educator has opened up a lot of doors for me in ways that i didn't know that's good. I thought you when when I first heard Jackie the educator, I thought you had a school. <laughs> Has that ever been like one of your? Yeah, really? honestly, I want to want it want to. I'll say want um, to open up a university at some point. Wow. I would love to start my own university and be the president and really open it up for creatives, for individuals like yourself who are working in various uh, parts of ministry, but well, also... Jackie, I don't really like school, I'm going to tell you now. You keep saying that. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I go, but... You know, in high school, I would I would be in your office all the time. <laughs> like that's dope. That's great. I no, think no, no, it was, no, 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 it wasn't no, good business. Not for good business. No, no, okay. no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, if you were in my office, you wouldn't help but want to change that to good visits because I feel like a lot of people who are in the office they mm. probably are too smart for the classroom. I don't think that was my case. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it might have been. You maybe, <laughs> maybe. See, if I think I, if I had teachers and principals like you, maybe I would have uh-huh. turned out better you know educational maybe i would have had a better outlook on education mm-hmm. but i i kind of didn't they kind of just got tired of me coming they was just like <laughs> go back to class just let it, whatever you did just forget about it just, we tired of calling this folks just go back to class so but i, I think that would be dope seriously yeah, if you, you would make a great school. educator actually oh my goodness Jackie, you make me feel so smart no see this is what it is you are smart and i feel like the people who experience the most problems make mm. the best people to do the actual job because you know what you wouldn't do to people they came in your office all the time you wouldn't turn them away and make them mm-hmm. feel like they didn't matter you know all right. you would change that i'm pretty sure right wow. yeah absolutely see so you would make an, an amazing educator because you know what not to do mm. so what would what would your the the university be like what would it be focused on um i imagine it um, i want you to look back at this like years from now and be <laughs> like you know i said it was going to be this this yeah, so, okay, you, you've seen X-Men before? Yeah. You've seen Professor Xavier's mm-hmm. College University? Mm-hmm. That's how I imagine <laughs> this university to be, like uh-huh. this X-Men um, university that we... For creatives. We, yes, like wow. literally, we're teaching you how to use your powers. Wow. Would you go to a school like that? Absolutely. See, there you go. Absolutely. Now, what, <laughs> what would the tuition look like? <laughs> well, you know what? We're going to have to ask the Lord for that. Maybe we'll have some... Uh, <laughs> donors to help with that <laughs> that would be good if it was a uh, just a school where creatives can come to i think a lot of schools um that have that enhance each other you know yeah. i mean you 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 obviously have because i've been to a school where it was a lot of amazing talented people and sometimes you feel like he's really good or mm-hmm. she's really good i'm not that good or you know so you have that but i think when you when it's a christian university it's different because uh-huh. Um, a lot of the the mindsets is different. It's not yeah. like let me come show off. Or, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go show off. You have this common goal. It's like let's you do want it together. To, I yeah, can show you. like I'm a huge superhero person, and so I love the X Men and mm-hmm. all of its works. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I feel like you know you're you're on Team X. We're on Team Christ. You mm-hmm. know, and so all of us have the same goal. We have unique powers. So you know, my power may not be the same as yours, mm-hmm. but I'm probably just as dope. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I think the Phoenix is probably the character I would be. Mm-hmm. I really love her powers and her ability to kind of turn into this ball of fire. Wow. Um, but I think that there are people who have these unique abilities that haven't been tapped into, mm-hmm. and we in the body need all of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we right. need every power people yeah. have, you know, and they need to embrace it. Not trying to be fire like me. Mm-hmm. Like no, you're ice. You, you need. We need ice at some point so Mm. do that you know and i think that once we really embrace our powers we'll be in a place where we can defeat the enemy and i feel like that's so important to know what you do and just stick to it Mm -hmm. i think uh, well i know for a fact me i was you know in my i guess career you can say i've i had a lot of times where i didn't understand what i wanted to do Mm -hmm. but i knew that without 
it, it's it's kind of like I would see people and I'm like, yeah, I want to do that too. And then he does that. I definitely want to do that too. And mm-hmm. so now they're like, this k- kid is doing six different things, mm-hmm. and and he's not dominating one of them. You know what I'm saying? And right. and and it's like once I sat down, God sat me down for maybe six months. So I didn't do anything. I didn't record. I didn't do shows. I didn't do nothing. Um, and it kind of like we just had me and him time. You know mm-hmm. that that six months, and I just kind of. Focus on okay. What do you want to do? Mm-hmm. What does he want you to do? So, I, so I can know because if you don't know what you want to do, you can't know. Y- you know, you can't. If I don't know what he wants me to do, and I don't know what I want to do, mm-hmm. then I just continue to do whatever eventually want. whatever I want to do. So, um, I just kind of felt like okay. Well, I think he. This is what he wants me to do. Mm-hmm. I don't really want to do it, but. I'll, I'll go with what he wants me to do. That's usually what and, you gotta do, yeah. <laughs> and, and it just, you know, when it comes to my my craft, it just perfected it. You know, mm-hmm. never did I ever think that that's what it would have been because I was looking at other people. You know, I wanted yeah. I wanted to do that, and that's mm-hmm. kind of what I wanted to do. But I feel like when, like you said, people need what I'm doing, just like people yeah. need what they're doing. Absolutely. And, and then when we put them together. Kind of the like, X-Men. Right, right, <laughs> right. You should start this university. Or maybe me and Will will be there too. Yeah. You're going to be Professor Xavier. <laughs> I, want, I want to be Wolverine if I had, had to be it. Oh, I love Wolverine. He's the yeah. only one that can kill um, Phoenix. Really? Yeah, that's a totally other thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm like, I got to watch it when I get home. But yeah, um, so what do you see? Like, what haven't you done that you really want to do? Um a lot actually um there was a period where i was not like full-on go for jesus you know Mm -hmm. i was very ambitious with my career for a large part of my life and you know now that i'm on the other side i feel like there are so many things in my um inside of me that i haven't tapped into Mm -hmm. um so eventually i would love to write a book obviously i like educating so Mm -hmm. eventually there's a book inside of me i'm a little over uh, was critical of myself and so I want to make sure I have good content to put in it but a book will come eventually and yeah. I also sing and so I want really? to eventually yeah now see wow. that's probably the last one on my list I told God like let's do everything else and then we'll circle back to, <laughs> to that one really? um, because I, I, I love to sing I sing worship at my church um, the minister of music there wow. and Which church you go to? Uh, House of Prayer Ministries 63rd okay. and Wood um but yeah, I love worship and I love music and it's it's in me, but you know, I just feel like again, waiting for God's timing mm-hmm. for it and so working on some music in the background, mm-hmm. but it's not for me the time to mm-hmm. release it, but it's there, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think that I would love to hear a, a Jackie song or yeah. album. Yeah. <laughs> would you like Jackie the Educator album? I don't know. That um, <laughs> I think I think you should keep it. Cause it's a brand, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Like I would Jack- buy that. I would be like, why is an educator singing? That's kind of yeah. <laughs> and like have the cover like you in the school, you in the classroom. You know, that's dope. I like that. Everybody sing down. Okay, I'll give you credit if that that becomes <laughs> the album cover. I think yeah. I, you know, you know what I want? I want ten percent. <laughs> <of it. laughs> He's like, let's nail this down. Right, now. right. Let, let's get we'll this on get the paperwork. contract. Get the contract. <laughs> <laughs> but but I but I think. Will thinks he's gonna get some percentage that's why he's helping. <laughs> but but I think that would be dope. So um, when it comes to counseling, because that's what you have a master's in. Yeah. Counselor, what do you? Where do you teach now? Now I'm teaching online. Okay. Uh, honestly, I'm full time entrepreneur. Now, is that good? I've, I've heard that online counseling is just as good as in person. But I'm more hands on. I wouldn't say that it's it's just, just as, as good, good. You know, mm-hmm. because I feel like you missed these cues. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you can't see everything mm-hmm. online, but um, yeah, I think it's good. It's it's something. Right. Something's better than nothing. And I think the people that I was talking to, that was there's something better than nothing. Cause mm-hmm. I, when they told me that it was just as good, I was like, how is me talking to you on the phone better than me talking to you in person? Right. But I think that's where they were. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you got to start somewhere, and yeah. so if it's on the phone, if it's through the computer, start there. Yeah, you know, and then build from there. Um, that's why we we're doing the cafe. I feel like we got to start somewhere. Yeah, you know, a lot of these people are walking around, especially on Inglewood. That's where the counseling cafe is. Mm-hmm. They walking around and they have no outlet. 
they have nobody to talk to and they are experiencing the most trauma mm -hmm. you know their PTSD um, bat like the the poverty um, and PTSD um, relationships that are happening in that area are very overwhelming mm. and for me I get emotional when I talk about it because I'm like how come nobody has done nothing about this why is everybody talking about this mm. trauma and nobody's addressing it and so I, I really want this to be something that people mimic because we can't keep talking like mm -hmm. this is great I love talking to you mm -hmm. but if this leads to nothing then then what good is it what's the point right wow wow that's that's amazing and I think that well I know for a fact it's going to be successful because um when you when you do stuff like that's necessary mm -hmm. but isn't being done you're you're reaching a, a target and I think God is going to be pleased and it's not if not already pleased because you know you're really helping people mm -hmm. you know and I the counseling is really expensive and and Tell me it is. so for you to say we're going to do it and we're going to build it just for it to be free mm -hmm. you know we're building it not for profit we're building it just to help people yeah that's dope yeah yeah i think it's that's necessary because everybody you know is charging something and it's great you need people got to put food on the table but mm -hmm. i believe that the god that i serve will be able to supply all of our needs mm -hmm. and again it's that literal term you know what i mean mm -hmm. and he hasn't failed me yet and so i can't really doubt him because he hasn't failed me <laughs> jackie don't make us have no church come on me. now <laughs> cue the organ you should have had the little <laughs> he, oh will had that he has everything <laughs> We, I can't hear it, but I know he's playing it. <laughs> he's playing it. <laughs> he has everything. Yeah. So when we come back, we're going to get, you know, closing remarks. We're going to get um, the information for the conference. Yes. And then when we come back, we're going to talk to Jackie before she leaves. Here. Mr. Preacher Man. <laughs> that was Ken Jones with Mr. Preacher Man. I love that song because it displays, um, it shows like, the the male street perspective of the church mm. you know like it, it's saying like Mr. Preacher man I don't want no problems you know <laughs> but I just want to worship God like y'all and just in my way so I, I love that song anyway back to what we was talking about so comedy is a, a relief for you what are who are some of your favorite comedians yeah I have a lot I actually I love Kevon Carter he's from Chicago and he is hilarious he's actually gonna be at the create conference okay um I also like Kev on stage obviously Kevin that's what Hart. I thought he was Kev yeah on no no Kev on stage he's hilarious too um but yeah I Kevon Carter is just as hilarious mm -hmm. I don't know why all comedians like a, a lot of comedians Kevin they're very yeah. funny yeah Kevin Hart all the Kevs I like all the Kevs you like Kevin Hart <laughs> Kevin Hart I okay. love Kevin Hart all his stuff is hilarious do you like older comedians like Dave Chappelle and oh Dave Chappelle yeah that's Dave a classic what? no yeah you can't not like Dave Chappelle what about the Kings of Comedy Kings of Comedy that was funny back in the day you know right. I'm not that old but you know. <laughs> no no no, no. <laughs> You gonna lie, oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I know you like that. No, 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 no. I, I'm just saying, you know, cause <laughs> Will is laughing. That's, Will, why are you being like that? You bogus. <laughs> Didn't he just make me seem like I'm old? No, I'm, like I'm not. You know, but a lot of, a lot, well, I know a lot of people go back and look at, you know, old shows and uh -huh. older. Like, like Richard Pryor. Yeah, like, like Sanford and Son and, you know, like older mm -hmm. things that obviously we wouldn't hear for, but. You know, like Matlock. I just like. Oh, yeah. That's you went then. way back. That's, that's like Nash. <laughs> that's like. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, but what are some of your favorite TV shows? Because I want to get in the brain of a counselor so when I get scratched out, I can just go. Oh, that's and scary. Look at what you like and hopefully yeah. figure out what I what calms me down. I don't know. I honestly, <laughs> literally, I don't watch a lot of TV. I don't either. See? But when I do, I watch, I watch stuff that. Um, can kind of ease my like entertain me like uh -huh. i stopped watching empire sorry but yeah i never watched power it. that's a good show i love power i've heard that um um uh, i don't want to say what else i watch because i don't want people to judge me but yeah you know <laughs> it's like wild and out it's really good wild and out I, oh you know, okay okay I've seen and, and it's, you know so, so when uh -huh. i when i get a little felt like i'm being too um just being just you know stressed, stressed or just feel like oh i'm being overwhelmed yeah stuff yeah, to do. yeah i just you know watch things like that so See, that kind of helped i just i'm a nerd i like sci-fi so i supergirl um 
<laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's that. one of my favorites. Flash. Mm-hmm. That's another one of my I like favorites. Arrow. Arrow I don't cool. like Arrow. He doesn't have powers. I don't understand him. So it's like a, it's like a <laughs> that's true. It's like a Robin Hood. Like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but he was on Flash. I know. I didn't like it when he was on there. I thought that was like a waste of time. Um, this is horrible. But I love powers. I love the idea of superpowers. Mm. And so I literally watch anything with superpowers. I probably have seen it or watch it. Yeah. Who's your favorite superhero? Uh, yeah, Phoenix. And uh, yeah, probably Professor Xavier will be a second. Okay. Mind control. Like, God, if that was a power, if I could control people's minds, like, you know, that would be awesome. But thankfully, only God can, um, you know, take control of our minds. Yeah, I think (laughs) if I can control people's minds, I'd be, like, super rich and powerful. (laughs) (laughs) You wouldn't try to end hunger or cause world peace? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would do all of that. But then I just, I would just have just too much of stuff. Just, I don't know. But, yeah, I would try to, I mean, I love helping you know like the needy and helping mm-hmm. you know people that aren't able to help themselves but i think i would take from the people who have too much ah. and do that mm-hmm. and then the other people that have too much i would give it to me <laughs> <laughs> for like reimbursement half and half it's even yeah right? and then you know i'd just be super rich so the conference yes. that you're going to be a part of you're going to be a part of two Yes, yes. So we have one that's coming up in April 4th through the 6th, and it's Apostle Brian Meadows. How could I forget that? Mm-hmm. He's amazing. Um, and so that one's going to be really great. It's in Atlanta. Okay. Um, and the other one is also in Atlanta. It's going to be in August, and that's with uh, Mark Moore and okay. the Young Leaders Conference. And they literally have name any celebrity in the gospel industry they pretty much will be there so he literally goes down the line and grabs everybody to be a part of that conference and so we'll be there as well um doing some cool things with other influencers um we have uh the young preachers coming up actually i'll be on that one Mm -hmm. in april and so i'll be talking with a group of women about women in ministry Mm -hmm. and that's a whole nother show but um Women in ministry, I feel like it's just it's a needed conversation because Mm -hmm. we sometimes get real shorthanded and, you know, Mm -hmm. overlooked. And then sometimes when we are looked at, it's like literally for the same things. Opportunities are limited. Um, And that's for women in general. Obviously, you have me on here for Women's History Month. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is literally a big thing that needs to be talked about in the church is. Um, women and their role um, they obviously make up a large portion of the church yeah. but yeah we got some things we need to discuss well, I appreciate <laughs> women and I'm sure we'll appreciate that on the women record. I'm just putting that on the record <laughs> <laughs> I, we appreciate them we wouldn't be here without them couldn't be here without them and if they weren't here um, it would be miserable I would be, I would be sad Yeah, I, I wouldn't even want to be here See, that's just like Adam. That was why we yeah. was created. Like without women, what, what's life? You what's know what I'm saying? That's the point. I agree. <laughs> so thank you so much <laughs> for coming, Miss Jackie, the educator. Um, I'm so happy and so glad. I learned a lot. Um, Good. Please get my parking space re- reserved for the, the school. The school, and then also the cafe. cafe. Yes. Okay. We'll have you a space, yeah. space reserved. Yeah. Like I. <laughs> I'm in, seriously, 100%. If Good. you want to know where I'm at, I'm there. <laughs> On Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, so Thursdays. Well become a counselor, too. And Friday, I'll give y'all a break because I'm probably drink off all the coffee. But anyway, <laughs> thank y'all. So thank you so much for coming. Um, if you want to follow Jackie the Educator, it's yes. Jackie the Educator on Instagram. Everywhere. Jackie Everywhere. The educator. Jackie the Educator. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, the conference is on her page. The everything is on the page. Yes, it so is. So they can just keep up with you on social media. Absolutely. And if you want to be a part of BCI, you can yeah. just go to Black Christian Influencers uh, on Instagram or Facebook. And just follow and message. Yep. Cool. Thank you so much. I will see y'all next week on Straight Talk. Yeah, have a good week. Stay blessed.